Hey guys, and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. I am here in beautiful South Greenland, and it is absolutely phenomenal. That big white mass back there, that is a gigantic glacier. And this beautiful body of water behind me is a fjord, and there's little icebergs that are floating in it. And we have climbed to the top of a mountain today, right below the little town that we're staying in. Um, Narsasark. Narsasark. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to put that in there. I believe it's outside of Nuuk. Wrong again, um, it's South something, Greenland. Something close to that. <laughs> but it's absolutely glorious and beautiful. So I am on this lovely hike today to come just exploring and check out everything that is here. So thank you so much for being part of my adventure. And let's go see what we find. This area of Greenland is some of the most luscious and green parts of South Greenland and has amazingly beautiful waterfalls all over these glacier cut mountains. Just on this hike up here alone, I counted six different waterfalls. The little town of Nasarsaak is quite quaint. There's all of about 70 people. They have cute little adorable colorful homes and an amazing view of glacier horns and arets. This little town was once a World War II base camp and has one of the three major airports in Greenland. Very isolated, it's three hours from the nearest larger town. The Nasarsaak Museum was actually the medical facility for the World War II base camp. And the gentleman that ran it was quite knowledgeable and a very kind soul. I got some amazing mineral specimens from him and the landing strip behind them is the Nasarsaak Airport. This is the view on top of the hill right above the hotel that I was staying in. And I was told that scientists from all over the world have traveled to this part of Greenland just to go to the other side of the fjord to look at the sandstone and study it. It's kind of like the zebra sandstone in Australia. And this little area right here, I came back to to do something very special, which you guys will have to check out in another video. But this is the start of the trail to head up to this beautiful location. And the granitic and metavolcanic rocks surrounding me, of course, set me on fire. But everything here is covered with moss and lichen. But you can't beat the views. The air is crisp and clean. And of course, it's freezing cold outside. This is essentially a giant like depression from what I think was a water well or maybe a drainage area but you can see the like the hole right there and a coupling and some pipe and stuff like that this beautiful clear water pond right off the hill we're walking up to an area that was an old mining area I've been running up this hill here down from that fjord and there's beautiful uh, parts of the rocks that have been calved off and just broken, uh, fallen down in these landslides. That's all colluvium, guys, which means the source rock is this rock here and all of this stuff right here is colluvium, meaning it's very, very close to the main source of rock. I'm a little out of breath just because I'm still acclimating. There's that really spectacular hill right over there. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Big old mountain with some ice caps on it. Anyways, we're gonna keep trekking up. The, the flies and mosquitoes are real here. It is, whew, it's interesting. I am very warm too. <laughs> oh, we're coming up on a building, guys. This is kind of cool. We're getting to the top of the hill up here. And it's quite beautiful. It's really neat so far. 
It looks like an old concrete building. And they used parts of the south of Greenland as a camp, um, or I guess a base in World War II. And this may have been uh, something, I guess, for that up top here. This could have had to do with some of the mining. It looks like there's a feature right here that has, um, excuse me, some concrete. Looks like there's some water storage tanks, something like that right there. But let's go check this out. It's fantastic. Look how beautiful this is. That's awesome. I mean, you know, it is a concrete building, but still, it doesn't mean that it's really cool. I just, I don't want to find any critters in here. Hmm. So, I'm just up on the ceiling. Looks like it was burnt out at one point in time. That sucks. Seems like a lot of the buildings got burnt one way or another. There's some tracks along here. Looks like they were feeding a furnace, perhaps? Not sure. Mm, kind of, kind of looks like a furnace. We've got some old, old glass that's quite worn, actually. It's cool. Wow. Let's keep going if we see something. It's a view from the outside here. Gorgeous mountains and just look at the view. Holy crap. Spectacular view. And of course the building goes in a little bit further. Some light rock and metal. Interesting areas. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Definitely was used for who knows what. <laughs> I can probably look up the name on the outside, but we'll see. It's chilly, but yet it's warm at the same time. There's another like furnace area. That's been all blocked off. <laughs> Let's check this out really quick. Lots of bugs. This is the other side of the building I was just standing in. A lot of scrap. Maybe this was a machine shop because that looks like a lot of lathe work, right? Lots of it. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's a sign up here on the top <laughs> of a mountain. <laughs> That's really neat. And over there, guys, that is the head of a glacier. You got some arets in the background. Beautiful waterfalls. Look at those. Just spectacular waterfalls. Look like another building right over there. The posts of a building. There's even a trail. It goes all the way up on the top of that hill. Probably so you can walk. It looks like definitely a footpath starts here. Whoop, goes up there so you can climb to the top of the hill. Maybe I will do that if I am still here long enough in the next day or so. It's like an encampment down there. Interesting. This area is actually part of the old mining camp, and all of that sand is talus coming out of the glacier. Gorgeous, gorgeous area. That was an old encampment down there. And this is a big glacial till. And the glacier's way up over there. It's the head of it with the arets. Some gorgeous waterfalls behind me. I'm hoping that the camera's picking up the volume. Or that the 
The camera's picking up the sound of the waterfall. <laughs> you can clear it. See, we clearly see that I'm with it. My gosh, I can't even talk. It's pretty neat though. I needed to go on a walk and just get away. And like the mosquitoes feel like they're trying to uh, carry me off, but it doesn't, they're more new, more of a nuisance. So far, I don't think they're like landing and biting me. Maybe because I keep swatting at them. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I've definitely got like a few in my mouth so far today. Not so great or fun. <laughs> um, gosh, it's just gorgeous. Looks like an old door frame to an old building. Let's go over here and see. I mean, look at the logs for timbers. Whew. These things are huge. Very overgrown with this bush that looks very similar to manzanita, but it's not. Still, stay away from there in case of ticks or something. <laughs> uh -huh. Check this out. This is cool. Oh, metal. Looks like this was an area for some water storage tanks. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is a reference marker put in the thing of concrete. AACS reference. You think that's supposed to be station? It's supposed to be Globecom, PTB with an X. I don't know what RX site, maybe that's just recreation site, something. It's neat though, it's a cool little, little placement marker here. There's the concrete house we were at and that little bitty white sign right there. My shadow. And this beautiful, Beautiful waterfall. Another waterfall over there. And again, that's the head of the glacier, guys. Huh. That's one of them. And then a bunch of little glaciers on top of those arets over there, or in between them. But look at beautiful U-shaped valley that it's created. This glacial till right here. All the slough and stuff that's come out of it. Wow, look at that. Look how neat that is. Wow. That's spectacular. And then to this side of us, we have an antenna and a, just a little concrete pad right here. Kind of cool, huh? Probably another antenna on top of it at one point in time, I'm assuming. There's the fjord. Tiny little bits and bobs of stuff. Look at this, there's a little shack up here. Probably in case they got stuck. Pile of rocks, probably just so they could make it level enough so they could turn around, right? Because why not? Cute little miner shack, or probably not a miner shack. It's probably maintained the antenna. Look at that over there. Look at the view. Holy crap. Oh wow, there's a whole nother like batch of stuff over there too. Again, check out the U-shaped mini valley here. And down there are our little hotel and hostels. It's the airport. And then we're staying just, just down there a little ways. Look at that. Huh. Look how pretty that is. Oh wow, 
a big old ship out there. So that is the Danish Navy, apparently. And then all those little bits floating there are icebergs in the water. <laughs> that water is cold. Whew, is it cold? So I am walking just along a rock ledge out here to the very tip of this area. Just to say that I did it. Oh, look, someone put a heart right down there on the ground. I got it now. A little town down there where we're staying. There's another little bits and shacks and stuff over there. So much. This is just a little trail that I decided not to walk over to, but I think it would have given me an even better view of the mining area down there and the talus that was coming out of that giant ice sheet glacier. But the view up here is absolutely beautiful. And actually all the trees in this area were planted in the Sarsak. They're not native. There aren't trees in Greenland. Any trees that are actually placed there, especially pine trees, they were an experiment to see if they would take. And in the Sarsa Act, that's how they get their little mini forest. And it's the only little forest in all of Greenland. Most other parts of Greenland, especially in South Greenland, they have small bushes that don't grow very far above the ground, as well as miniature juniper trees. This is an old wooden part of a shack <laughs> up here just above that concrete building. Again, beautiful view of the glacier. And it looks like, excuse me, looks like a lot of these things are old power poles. You can see the lines laying on the ground, probably taken out from snow or, you know, pretty bad weather and storms and stuff like that. But this guy's kind of interesting. Forgive my breathing heavy, I have been Turning in this, turning this into a jog, so I have been running around. <laughs> uh, this is a cool little area. I don't know, maybe this was like a substation or something, but it's just framing. And then you have that building down there, which also could have been another substation. Now that I'm thinking about it, with all the power poles around everywhere, there's a very good possibility that. <laughs> This whole area was used for power uh, during um, the camp, uh, or I guess station um, for World War II. So it's a possibility. I am, I'm kind of spitballing because I'm not exactly sure, but I will do more research and ask just to make sure that I don't give you guys poor information. A lot of cables though, like everywhere. A lot of like thrush everywhere, those little birds. <laughs> this whole terrain for some reason reminds me of the Hunger Games, <laughs> District 12. Um, it's kind of what it feels like. Uh, very, you know, desolate, remote, like that kind of stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Although, definitely not here for the Hunger Games, thank God. Although, if I was in the Hunger Games, I think I'd kick butt, maybe. Ugh. At least I would be able to shoot a bow and arrow just like Katniss. I am getting pretty good at that lately. I mean, I don't have it here right now, so I can't show you guys, but you get the picture. A lot of little birds everywhere. I heard there were some snowshoe rabbits, too. Kind of looking for some of those. I haven't seen one yet. I heard there's a ton of fox. And stuff like that but again I haven't seen any I did hear coyotes wolves I'm not exactly sure what they were but it was something of that nature like yipping and howling and stuff last night so that was a little creepy but I'm not too scared of things Whew. so after I spoke with a few people turns out that is a mining area down there there's in fact an old shovel down there all of these power poles in this area were supporting that mine down there. 
and that old building that's behind me in just a second was indeed an area for people to stay, kind of like a substation. A lot of this area burns coal for both heat and electricity. So in a different era, that could have been what those furnaces in the building were used for. But it's long been abandoned, but made for a great adventure. 